Hello and welcome to gaming and welcome to another eFootball 2022 video. Now, you may have seen my version 1 delayed video. Uh, if you have, you know that I'm not happy with the news. Uh, but if you've not seen it, then do check it out. It's on the channel. It was posted yesterday. So do go check that out if you're interested to know my thoughts on the delay for version 1. But... I have now played the demo update, the 0.91 version of eFootball 2022 and I was going into it thinking hopefully they have fixed some of the issues that were bugging me from the off, from the release of this game and I'm happy to report that actually it is a positive update. So many of the things that I complained about you can also check out in my first gameplay video or my eFootball disaster video, but I'm here to spin some positive news after playing the game today, the version 0.91. So let's get into it. Let me talk about what I liked and what still needs fixing. So it should be noted that I played the PS5 version, which I've not played yet. I was at my brother's and we played it on his PlayStation 5. So I don't know if some of the differences may be because of that or if they are because of the update. I'm choosing to believe it's because of the update. I'm going to have a positive spin on this video. So starting off, my main issue with eFootball so far has been the frame rate issues of the game. The game has not been running at, uh, at 60 frames. And I, I'll be honest, I don't even think it's been running at 30 frames at times when I've been playing it on my PS4. Now, of course, the PlayStation 4 uh, typically doesn't always run things at um, and you know anywhere near 60 frames sometimes you do get it depends on the game uh, I know that sort of not all games do run at that frame rate typically sort of see between 40 and maybe 60 on the PS4 I do know that the PS5 seems to be so far from what I've seen from it pretty much locked in at 60 frames per second which is one of the big advantages to the PlayStation 5 and something that I'm looking forward to when I finally get one of the consoles but anyway having played the update of eFootball today on the PlayStation 5 I'm happy to report that the frame rate issues do appear to have gone uh, as I say this might just be because I'm on the PS5 version I'm hoping it is because they fixed the issues though I will have to do further tests when I get back home and can play on my PlayStation 4 the game also did feel somewhat slightly faster than previous uh, not by much but there was a little bit of, a, of an improvement to the actual general game speed. Graphically, the game looks pretty much on par with what it was before. And I'll say again that sometimes the graphics look good, sometimes they look really grim. It's weird. There's a really weird mix of the graphics on this year's game. What I will say though is that there was some of that weird ghosting effect going on that we've come to see since the release of eFootball. Uh, I don't know why that is. So... Hopefully I'll be playing some examples here for you and you'll be able to see what I mean. Uh, it's usually when there's a replay being shown, some of the uh, the the graphics or some of the animations and the character models sort of leave a trail like a ghosting effect and uh, hopefully that gets sorted soon as well. I say soon, or obviously we're going to be waiting until spring for the main game update, but who's not to say that they won't do mini updates for the demo version of the game like this one that we're discussing right now one final thing that i noticed uh, to be an improvement on was the fact that we weren't having to sit and wait for online games for ages that was a big problem with the release of eFootball uh, when on the matchmaking it did seem that you were waiting sometimes forever or you were getting games and it was getting cancelled that does seem to have been fixed now let me know if you've experienced anything differently there because obviously this is just a small sample of gameplay from earlier on today we had about two or three matches online and we seem to get them fairly quickly so my overall opinions of the update of eFootball for the demo version the 0.91 version is that they have fixed some of the issues I'm still not happy with the release of the game there's still a lot of things that for having developed the game for two years now uh, I'm really not happy with the way it is um, but it's a step in the right direction and obviously we're not happy about the the delayed uh, full game version of eFootball having to wait till spring now but my hope is that the extra six months is 
going to give them some time to correct a lot of the flaws that we've seen so far. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are on the 0.91 version of eFootball. Do you think it's a slight improvement? Do you think it's a big improvement? Or do you think it's not changed at all? Or has it got worse for you? Because sometimes they do mess with these things and, uh, and the game does take a little bit of a hit. But I do generally think there's a nice slight improvement to what we received from the off, but it's still not where we want the game to be. But a step in the right direction. A positive eFootball video for once, guys. Who'd have thought it? I'll see you guys in the next video.